Bangladesh plans to purchase 20 Chinese-made J-10C fighter jets at an estimated cost of $2.2 billion, with deliveries starting by early 2027. Indian warships are maintaining a consistent presence near Turkish waters, signaling a deliberate maritime posture that blends deterrence with alliance building, especially after Turkey's support for Pakistan and Bangladesh. India has extended the recently issued no time warning to 2520 kilometers for the period between 15th to 17th October in the Bay of Bengal region likely for the test of the Dhani hypersonic glide vehicle the Indian Army has inducted the indigenously developed Astoria AT-15 vertical takeoff and landing UAV for artillery fire support operations in a major development Russia has agreed to transfer critical technology for local manufacturing of the S-400 systems in India, and top Ministry of Defense officials will meet their Russian counterparts this week, to finalize a deal for five additional S-400 regiments, out of which two regiments will be built by Indian private firms under transfer of technology. Brazil's Minister of Defense will visit New Delhi from 15th October to discuss a proposed partner deal involving Brazil's C-390 Millennium Transport Aircraft and India's Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets and Prachan light combat helicopter. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is advancing plans to integrate Israel's 300 km range icebreaker air-launched cruise missiles onto the Tejas Mark 1A, following detailed briefings by Israel Aerospace Industries to the Indian Air Force that will enhance the Tejas Mark 1A's standoff strike capability in high threat zones. Russian officials have confirmed that Russia has advanced the design of its MiG-41 6th generation interceptor, with the outer configuration now finalized. A prototype is expected to conduct its first flight by end of 2026, that will exceed a speed of Mach 4 and operate at 80,000 feet, and will have both manned and unmanned variants. India and Russia are close to sign a multi-billion dollar deal for an export version of R-37M hypersonic air-to-air -air missile for Su-30 fighter jets of the Indian Air Force. The export version has a range of over 200 km and a hypersonic speed of over max 6 plus, giving India a major beyond visual range advantage, especially as the US has recently cleared the 180 km AIM-120 D3 to Pakistan. The initial batch of 300 missiles is estimated at $1.5 billion, that will start delivery by end of 2026, however, India could demand an early delivery of a limited number of units to fast-track integration and combat readiness of its Su-30 fighter jets. Dassault Aviation has revealed new details about its proposal to supply 114 Rafale fighters to the Indian Air Force with 60% indigenous content and local production. Dassault Aviation has promised to roll out the first Indian assembled Rafale within three years of contract signing, with all deliveries completed by the sixth year. The first batch would be in the Rafale F4.1 standard, and after 2030, a second tranche would evolve to the Rafale F5 configuration, integrating the Safran T-Rex engine and collaborative combat aircraft features for manned-unmanned teaming. Dassault Aviation has warned that integrating UTAM radar could cause up to two-year delays, and has offered an upgraded TARLES radar with enhanced AI-based tracking, but it will come without full source code access, limiting India's future weapon integration flexibility. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, dropped it.